Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see a string function text between. First of all, we will see the syntax of that function. Text between function is a script and chart function and you can use both inside script and at the front end as well. This function is returning a text for the input string and we have to define delimiter 1 and delimiter 2. That means between two characters, whatever string is there, this function will return that string. Here n is optional. If you are not defining n, then it will be by default 1, but you can use 2, 3, etc. First of all, we will see how this function works and I will show you a practical example of this function which recently I have used. So to understand the functionality of this function, I have created a sample line. So we have test data and we have field value something like this. So our objective is to find out the string between open and close round bracket. I will load this data and will show you how this function work at the front end. So we will create a table and now I will start using this function. So I will say text between my field value. So field value is the name of this field and what I want is 1, 2, 3 between this open and close bracket. So my start delimiter is this and my end delimiter is this and now I will get the result 1, 2, 3, triple 3 and triple 1 because we haven't mentioned n the fourth parameter by default it is 1. So if we mention 1 here we are still getting the same result. If we mention 2 here what this function will do it will check the start of the bracket round bracket but the second instance. So the second instance here is this before 555. So this function will try to find out string or text between the second instance of round bracket start and round bracket end. So here we are getting result 555 and 444. But for the first line we don't have the second instance that's why we are getting null. And the same way if we write here 3 then we will get 2 null here because for ABC and XYZ line we don't have the third instance but for DEF we have triple six. The same function you can get output here as well. So if I will write here field value and then if I will say this as my result then I will get the similar output. You can see we are getting the output. Now I will show you a practical use case of this function. So for one of my client, I was getting data something like this. So frequently my client is sending me data and what I have to do is I have to pick up the file which is having the maximum date and time. And the frequency of this data is uneven. So it is not something like every day I will get a file. Maybe I will get a file two times a day Sometimes I am getting file say once a week. So my objective is to find out what is the latest file and I need to load the data of that file. I can use file time function here and I will get the maximum date and time and then I can load that file. But in this example I will show you how can I use text between function and get the latest file. So first of all, I will delete this and I will load one file from there. And I will simply load one single line. 
and here I will comment it and now I will write a for loop for each v csv file in file list and what is my list so my list is coming from here and I will say next v csv file now once I will load this and let me trace it so I will say trace vs csv file is this so once I will load this it will only give me the single line because specifically I have mentioned this file but instead of that because because you can see every file is starting as abc sales profile report and after that the data is different so what I will do here is after report I will mention here star so now it should read all the files from that folder so now you can see I am getting all the files now my objective is to find out the latest file so to find out the latest file I will find out the date and time of this line so I will find out the date and time of every single file so here I will use the text between function so before that what I will do I will create a file list and I will say load and I will say file name full path auto generate one and now I will load and at the front end I will create a table and will add this field and you can see we have few number of files I will also show you the data model so right now we have one table with few number of lines now I will use the text between function and I will try to find out the date and time so here I will say text between and from this file what is my first delimiter start of this bracket and so my delimiter is start of round bracket and end of round bracket because this round brackets occurring only once we don't have to mention one or two here and I will say here as file time stamp and I will load this data and will add this new field at the front end so here you can see that this file timestamp is in a text format because our system variables showing this timestamp as this format and if you see the data model you can see that this file timestamp is in text format so I need to use timestamp here timestamp has this is interpreting function and it will tell click that our this field value is in timestamp of this and I will also convert to our timestamp format by the formatting function if you don't know how to use this timestamp has timestamp date has date then I will strongly recommend you to look into my previous videos check the description for the link of those videos now I will load this and you can see that now it is right align it is in a dual format or you can say is a number or timestamp format once I convert it now after the loop I will do a left join and I will left join this file list and I will say load maximum file timestamp as max file timestamp resident of the same file 
and I will also use timestamp here so that it will give us the proper timestamp format and at the front end I will add this field if I will sort this table by descending order of file timestamp the first file is matching with the maximum file timestamp so I will create a final final file and I will say no concatenate here and I will say load star resident of, of file list where my file timestamp equal to my maximum file timestamp and I will also drop my file list table and now we should have only single line now this file name I will store in a variable so now I will say let v final file equal to peak of my because we have now only single line no need to mention uh, any other parameter and once this file name is stored in a variable we even don't need this table so I can say drop that table and the final file I will paste here and after loading this data you can see that we are getting the latest file here so to load this latest file I will go back here and I will say data and instead of this file path I already have this file path stored here I will load from that and now you can see that we are getting data from this file hope you like this video please do subscribe my channel thanks and have a great day